and remixers of the world are up against one of the most powerful industries on earth, big media. Once comprised of countless movie studios and record companies, six Hollywood studios and four major record labels now control Hollywood. And these companies are owned by even bigger companies. Disney, Viacom, Time Warner, News Corp, BMG and General Electric own more than 90% of media holdings in the United States. All these companies are represented by two lobby groups, the Recording Industry Association of America and the Motion Picture Association of America. Like it or not, this is who owns and controls our culture. Their primary goal is to preserve the business model that made these corporations rich even if it means convincing governments to halt the flow of new ideas, new technology, or better business models. But as powerful as these groups are, there is one thing that threatens their very existence. Yes, Along with China and Russia, my home and native land was singled out as one of the world's worst pirate nations, and they sent their cops after us. Jackie and I are on a mission to stop piracy. Stop piracy! Stop piracy. That's coming. It started when Arnie came to talk with Prime Minister Steve about an international crisis. People making bootleg DVDs with their camcorders. Certainly there's a lobby, there's a concerted corporate lobby to make us appear as though we are somehow derelict in our international duties if we don't enact whatever the uh, industry lobby throws on our desk and says, this is our wish list, you must make it happen. The wish list for Canada was simple, lock up culture. Which brings us to point three. Our future is becoming less free. The thin edge of this wedge is technology known as digital rights management. Using this technology, the record and movie companies can prevent you from copying CDs, DVDs, and files to your computer. Rather than letting the law decide what you can and can't do, now some corporate software will decide for you. 